Hey, what's up everyone? It's Eli here today. Make sure to leave a like and turn on post notifications as always. And today I'm going to be talking about the Solomonic Seals. There seems to be a lot of controversy regarding them on the internet, but I think everyone is over-exaggerating. So right here I have the Solomonic Seal of the Sun. Now we're going to be talking about the origins of these seals, the story of Solomon, what demons actually are, do they work on demons, how these seals function, and why they're really fucking powerful. Now you can find the origin of these seals in the Lesser Key of Solomon alongside every sigil for each Goetic demon. Now if you've worked the Goetia, you know those seals are pretty fucking powerful, so any other seal in there must be pretty powerful as well. It's common sense, right? So now let's talk about the Testament and the story of Solomon. And whether or not you actually believe the story doesn't remove the legitimacy and power of this magic. Now, the story of Solomon was that Archangel Michael gave Solomon a ring, the Seal of Solomon, which was used to control and bind demons, and the ring itself was from God. Now, understanding this as an occult practitioner, we know what God is. It's one of two things. It's either source itself or Yal de Boeth. And considering that um, it's from Archangel Michael, it could be from Source, but then looking at it from it's a Jewish and Christian perspective as well, it could be from Yal de Boeth. So the origins of these are very confusing. And if you don't believe in the lore, then you're probably someone who believes that the Goetic demons are daemons. And let's get into that. Now, daemons are an ancient term for gods. Now, the way I see the seals, and the way I see daemons is, I see a lot of people talking about the Goetic demons, like their ancient gods, saying that Lilith is Ishtar or Anana. Okay, so if that was true, then I would like to politely ask practitioners who are working with Inanna to stop calling Inanna Lilith because Lilith refers to an ancient demon. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. And based off of this understanding, and if you've watched my video, that means that there's two types of entities using the title Lilith, Inanna and an actual demon. So what the Solomonic seals actually work on is not the ancient daemons and the ancient gods, but the demons that are pretending and masquerading as gods. So whenever you're working with the Solomonic seals, understand that you're not binding ancient daemons or gods, you're actually binding and, and controlling malevolent entities that are masquerading as gods. And me personally, I have not used this to try to bind a demon. I haven't tried that out yet, and based off of Solomon's story, it sounds very risky. So a demon, not to be associated with daemon, is a dark, malevolent, low vibrational entity located in the Klipoth or the Hell Plains. Okay, so don't associate them with the ancient daemons and gods of old. I know a lot of people say that um, ancient gods are using the Goetic demons as masks, and that's a completely understandable perspective. But also understand that there's actual malevolent dark entities using these masks as well. So I actually find it interesting that I don't think that if a goetic demon that you're working with is an actual deity, that they would be offended with you using Solomonic keys at all. But I feel like an actual goetic demon would. If you're, if you're going off from the perspective of you're actually working with demons, then I can completely understand why they would be offended by technology that's meant to bind and control dark, malevolent entities. But if you're looking at it from the perspective that they're just other deities, then I don't see why they would be at all. And if anything, you should stop calling them by their goetic demon name and refer to them as something more respectful. But that's just my personal belief, and um, you know, like if you're one of those people that's working with Inanna, stop calling her fucking Lilith. They're not the same being. Just thought I would get that out of the way. That's my personal opinion and view on it. 
if you're working with an entity that's actually offended by these, you should start rethinking about what entities you're working with because these are very powerful and these only really work on real demons. So why would your daemon be offended by that? Now let's talk about what actually makes these seals powerful, okay? So if you look at the seal, you can actually see the um, Hebrew words in the name of God written all along the seal itself. Now you see a lot of sacred geometry as well. Okay, you see a lot of sacred symbols. Now the, the six-pointed Hebrew star is not actually the star of David. It even goes back into Hindu mythology. It represents balance between the high and the low, the masculine, the feminine, the light, and the dark, and the balance of every element. So that itself is very powerful. This is the seal for the sun. Um, and this has a very direct intention. Okay, so this has ancient Hebrew words and letters on it. It has sacred geometry, which adds a lot of um, symbolism and power to it meaning that the geometry itself already gives this an energetic charge, even if you don't know what the fuck this means. Um, the angles and the lines are literally connected and designed for and to channel the sun itself. Um, and this is also connected to, once again, the sun and planetary energies. Okay, so you can literally channel the power of the sun through this sigil as a direct link, okay? So let's cover this. In ancient language, in the Hebrew is a language of fire connected to the name of God or source or the Demiurge, depending on which one you're trying to connect to, connected to sacred geometry and ancient sigils and symbolism, connected to planetary energies connected to planetary energies from an ancient spiritual occult religious system used by people for hundreds of thousands of years. We don't know how old this is. So this alone makes this really fucking powerful. Now, if if you I have I, that that is that is the science of it. Like these are these are literally programmed by ancient technology to be really powerful, whether you like it or not, whether you believe in this, whether you like it or not. These these are fucking powerful. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about how to actually use the Solomonic seals and my experience with them. So. To actually use the Solomonic seals, um, it's very simple. Um, all you need to do, do a little research on what the seal does, have an intention for it, and charge it with your energy. And it's very simple and set that out with the intention. So it's like a spell, but you're just using the seal. And what happens is it will activate, it will send that energy out through your intention, and then it will also pull in energy into the seal itself from that planetary energy that it's connected to. So it will pull planetary energies, which you can use this um, with the Kabbalah and the Sephiroth or the Klipoth. Okay, so you can use this to channel the energy of the sun when you're working through the tree of life to initiate. And it pulls this energy through and then it will give you the energy as you wear it or carry it with you and give you the power of this planet. So it's very advanced. And the, the, the geometry and the words and everything is designed for this. And every seal is connected to a certain group of angels which rule over the sun. Okay, so each seal is connected to either one individual entity or a secret group of angels. Now, I did more research, and it turns out that seals itself actually empower you, your ancestors, and your guardian angels, okay? So if you're working with Metatron or Archangel Michael, or you're working with um, a very high vibrational entity or angels in general, and the angel is attuned to the sun, this seal 
will empower that angel, okay? So what I do is I wear angel seals while using Solomonic magic, and it will empower your angels and you. So let's talk about the safety of it, and then I'll get into my experiences with it. Um, understand that when you're working with this, if you're actually if you're working with an actual god, they're not going to be offended by this at all. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, and if you try to use this on like a god like Zeus or Hermes or Poseidon, they're going to laugh at you because they're fucking gods. Now, actual demons will not like this because one, um, it's high vibrational energies you're channeling with very specific purposes and sacred geometry that protects you and empowers you. And it it's literally designed for protection against demonic entities. Um, and actual demons hate this shit. Actual demons hate this shit. They don't like this, okay? It's like, imagine, imagine when you're holding up the seal of the sun, like some dude who's been in a basement for like six months straight gaming, and he goes out into the sun and he's just like... <sighs> That's, that's what it's like. So actual demons hate this. Um, and um, that's that's just the way it is. You know, actual demons, not daemons, actual demons. So let me clarify that. Do not, do not, I have not done this and I don't recommend anybody summon up a fucking goetic demon and be like, do as I ask. If you studied the story of King Solomon, you will realize that that's not a good idea. Okay. I'm just going to say that right there. I haven't done that. That's not what I've used it for. If you do that, do that at your own risk and maybe post a video about it. I'd love to learn. So yeah, if a goetic demon is an actual daemon and god, they're not going to be offended by it. But if the goetic demon or the mask is being used by a malevolent entity, they're going to fucking hate this. Okay, but now I'm going to get into my experience with Solomonic Seals. So... At first, I was a little skeptical about it. I was like, there's no way this is going to fucking work. But I had actually bought one or bought one when I was like 17 without realizing what it was. And I already felt the energy behind it. I was like, wow, that's really powerful. And it was the seal of Mercury. And I, I bought it just because it was it had the deal with Mercury, you know, Eli Mercury. And I knew it was powerful and it worked. So I'm like, OK, you know, I'll buy a couple more, see if it works. So I bought the seal of the sun and I had actual demons, demons, not daemons, fucking with me. And they had, um, they had been putting illusions up on me and I used the seal of the sun to remove those illusions and I slept with it. So when I went to sleep, these illusions were removed and I woke up and I was like, shit, that fucking worked. That's cool. That worked. Um, and then I kind of stopped using them. I kind of forgot about them. And then recently I picked them up again. And I'm like, bro, I want to see like how powerful are these seals? Like I started doing research on them. And I found out a whole lot about them. And I fell asleep with this the other night. And part of my soul has been stuck in the clip off. And I've been having a little hard time raising my vibration. So I slept with the seal and for the first time in an astral projection experience in a while, I was out of the clip off and I'm talking like a couple years, like the skies were bright. I like there was food everywhere. There was like happy people, but it was like literally like I raised my vibration into heaven with the seal of the sun. So the seal of the sun literally acted as a portal and raised my energetic vibration to a higher vibrational state. And I was I was meditating and I'm like, I'm asked like before I went to sleep, I was asking my spirit guides, like, if this if this shit actually works, give me a sign. Like if I should be using this, give me a sign. Like help me understand this. Like and I was like talking to my guardian angel and all that all of that. And as spirit came to me, started talking to me, we had communication. Um and it's like, yeah, it works. This stuff does work. Um, and he kind of explained it to me. He's like, be careful with it, though. You know, don't go fucking around with it. Kind of explaining the basics of it. And I had, I was, I had raised my vibration in the astral. I had vivid dreams all night. I would, I would be 
simultaneously aware and thinking here while I was running around and doing stuff in the astral and my vi like it was just vibrant and bright like it was such a dramatic change and I remember at this one point when I was transitioning vibrationally speaking like I went into this fucking like rainbow tunnel and it was like it was going from like red the blue and it was like swirling like you know how people talk about the astral tunnels it was like this just worm worm tunnel and um it was changing colors and i it stopped at this dragon eye and there's this dragon eye bro and it starts talking to me and it had the same energy as the entity that went and came out of my bedside and started talking to me and it was it was fucking crazy bro like I went, I went through some fucking rainbow tunnel. It's like a dragon eye. And I just, I had something happen like this crazy in a while. And in the dream, I was like flying around. I was going different places. Um, and then I, uh, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to check some, uh, people that I know that I'm close with. And I talked to some friends. Um, the first person I talked to was my girlfriend. And I was like, Hey, did you notice anything about me different in the astral? And she's like, yeah, you had a really high vibrational loving energy. You had like white robes on. You seemed almost ethereal and angelic. And I'm like, all right. Um, so that was one person that had had an experience. And I talked to one of my friends and um, I was like, did you have any dreams? And they're like, yeah, me and you, we were going from planet to planet um, and we were traveling. And I was like, oh, really? And she's like, they're like, yeah. And um, I'm like, okay. So um, I started I started telling her, I'm like, hey, I've actually been working with these seals and they have to deal with the planets and they adjust you to the vibrational frequency of these planets. And they're like, oh, what, really? I'm like, yeah. And there was a, there was, there was direct correspondence with multiple people and the stuff that I was experiencing showing the legitimacy of of this okay and these these sigils there are so many different things like i'm serious they have sacred geometry they have holy text they're connected to planetary energies you can literally use them for anything you can use them as portals as gateways to raise your vibration to guide yourself through the clip off the sephiroth to raise your vibration out of the clip off to ward off negative malevolent entities you can use these to bless people. You can use these to destroy people. Like, they're powerful. They're powerful. Like, I'm serious. Like, I have not seen one actual good magician teaching about this. I've, I've seen books. I've seen videos. And nobody, nobody breaks it down. Nobody understands it. And I was skeptical. I was very skeptical. But this is ancient planetary angelic technology with sacred geometry and a bunch of stuff integrated and at first you know i was skeptical i was like well it's supposed to bind goetic demons but aren't goetic demons supposed to be ancient gods according to my belief but then i was like well what if they're not or what if, you know, like, I've already dropped a video on the Goetic Demons. The Goetic Demons are masks. The Goetic Demons are masks being used um, by other entities. And I've already dropped a video on that. So, the, yeah, don't, don't worry about offending demons if you're using these. The only thing that this is going to do is ward off negative entities that don't need to be there. If it removes anything else then that shouldn't have been there in the first place. If something is offended by this, you have a problem. If an entity is actually offended by a Solomonic seal, that entity is a problem. Just saying. So, I mean, check it out. You get, get a fucking Solomonic seal, bro. Don't believe me. Don't, don't, just trust me. Don't believe me. Try it out for yourself. Do divination. Talk to your angelic guides. Talk to your spirit guides about this. Like, don't just, oh, Eli said so. I'm going to go out and believe this. 
and definitely don't go out, Eli said so, I'm going to go bind the demon. No. So, these are very powerful. You can charge this with a little bit of energy, and it's... it's All I'm going to say is try out the Seal of Venus if you're trying to get laid. It works very well. Um, anyways, peace out, guys. See you all in the future, and I hope you enjoyed.